Do airplane pilots that travel long distance have to actively turn the nose of the airplane down to accommodate for the curvature of the Earth? Or does gravity let them fly in a straight line as far as controls are concerned? Aircraft altitude is measured inferred by atmospheric pressure. The aircraft is usually flown at an altitude that maintains constant ambient pressure by pilot or autopilot, as the case may be. Changes in local barometric pressure provided by air traffic control are used to recalibrate the aircraft altimeter. As long as the aircraft is flown at a constant ambient pressure hence constant altitude, it will be following the Earth's curvature as the atmosphere is attached to the spherical Earth and has same properties at same distance from the center, in an ideal case as the altitude is measured from the surface, which is curved, and not a plane. Flying in a perfectly straight line would be impossible even if you wanted to, because turbulence and wind require constant small corrections. Those corrections are much larger than the corrections needed to avoid going straight, which get lost in the noise. If you're making any effort at all to fly level, you'll never even notice that you're also making adjustments for curvature. Have you ever, while driving on a straight road, tried to line your car up in a straight line and then hold the wheel perfectly still and keep going? You'll very quickly find yourself drifting to one side or the other, because your human perception wasn't precise enough to start with. And that's over a short distance, with stable asphalt under you. Multiply that by hundreds of thousands of miles, through a turbulent fluid medium. What you are describing is a tangential movement, however, the concept of altitude is defined as the distance from surface to you. That being said, altitude is more of a radius than a distance, as inevitably with some assumptions the line that goes from the plane to the ground which is always perpendicular to the plane's trajectory will intercept the center of the planet. In other words, you don't see satellites going down regularly to stay around Earth, as their altitude is constant, their trajectory is naturally in orbit as their position is relative to the point in the surface they are above of. Hope I could explain myself right. Yuzunido. An aircraft doesn't fly exactly where the nose is pointing, the air over the wings is pushing the aircraft upwards, and the amount of upwards force depends on the angle and the speed that the wings are hitting the air. Usually aircraft will be flying at 2-3 degrees nose up to maintain their altitude, as that gives the right upward force from the wings at the speed they cruise at. The aircraft doesn't stay at this angle itself, so the autopilot will be constantly adjusting it anyway, far more than the curvature of the Earth would cause. Airplane pilots do not need to actively adjust the nose of the airplane to account for the curvature of the Earth during long-distance flights. Gravity naturally pulls the aircraft toward the center of the Earth, allowing it to follow the curvature of the Earth's surface. Pilots primarily use autopilot systems and flight management computers to maintain a desired altitude and heading, which takes into account factors such as the Earth's curvature, wind conditions, and other variables. Therefore, from the perspective of the controls, pilots can fly in a straight line without needing to continuously adjust for the curvature of the Earth. Yes and no. Imagine there is a road on a perfectly flat desert that, over the course of 500 miles, makes a 90-degree turn to the right. From any point on the road, the curvature is barely visible. It appears to be perfectly straight. It's a super windy day. As you drive along the road you are constantly making corrections for the wind, if nothing else, but you feel mainly like you are always driving straight ahead. At the end of the road, if you add up all the left and right corrections, the sum total will be a 90 degree right turn. Same with the plane. It's windy as hell up there, and the pilot autopilot is constantly making up-down corrections just to maintain altitude. The sum total of the corrections is a gradual turn down around the curve of the Earth, but it is lost in the millions of altitude corrections over the course of the flight. Do you tilt your nose down after walking great distances? Autopilot